We're uh, down about 182 points right now. Everyone waiting for a couple of things. First word on stimulus and whether we're going to get it and a vaccine and how soon we'll be able to get that too. To this. You know, uh, today's sell is notwithstanding. It's really been a remarkable year going into the day with the Dow up 6%, S&B 15%, the NASDAQ, even with the downdraft today, up more than 42%. So a lot of people say, how do you repeat that in the new year? How do you financially plan in a year when you had something so stunning? Uh, offset, obviously, by the pandemic, but maybe rising because of the pandemic. Tom Wheelwright knows he's the tax-free wealth uh, best-selling author. He's an accountant by training. I always think that that helps and gives him a lot more credibility. Um, Tom, very good to have you. Thank you very much. How do people play nice to- it? Um, you know, a lot of their fa- finances, the market notwithstanding, were banged up during the pandemic. A lot of people saved a little more, but but there are good many in the world are hurt. How do they prepare for 21? Well, first of all, you know, make sure that you have money set aside. Uh, we have a potential stimulus package. Hopefully, we'll get that this weekend. Uh, but I don't think you can guarantee it. So you might actually have to look for other income sources, like starting a new business, um, which is always a great way to uh, earn a little extra money. You're also a big believer in watch what you're spending. You know, millionaires can go broke, and people who have decent salaries can go broke because they're they're you know spending more than they're taking in uh, that that will that remain an important theme oh you know this pandemic is far from being over so uh the pandemic is as much an economic pandemic uh for many 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 millions of people and so you definitely want to watch what you spend and make sure that that money is going to last you for the foreseeable future I always tell people, you're the expert here, Tom, but, you know, if, if, if you're planning on spending money you haven't gotten yet, uh, maybe you should rethink that. And to your point about the stimulus package and whether the stimulus checks are going to go out to the tune of $1,200 or $600 or anything, don't, don't, don't spend money you don't have yet because you might not get it, right? Well, that's for sure. And in fact, you want to make sure that um, money that you do spend, I, I would plan on having a surplus. So you want to make sure that you've got surplus set aside. If somebody offers you money, if somebody offers you a loan for your business, if the government offers you money, don't be turning that down. Um, the government is going to be offering people money. Um, some of them with the Paycheck Protection Program require a little more than proof that your revenues or business have been hurt by the pandemic. Others like to treat it as a loan. If it comes as a loan, albeit with low rates, what do you do? You you take the money because, for example, the uh, EIDL loans, uh, this is money that's readily available. There's new EIDL money in the new stimulus package. And uh, you just take it. And yes, it comes with low interest rates. If you don't need it down the road, then pay it back. Uh, but for right now, it's it's important to have cash on hand because you don't know what's coming down the road. Well said. Just think, just in a worst case scenario, just be ready. Tom Wheelwright is his name, Tax Free Wealth, the book, accountant, good read at all things money. Uh, again, do not spend what you don't have yet or what you don't have now. <laughs>